Hi guys, Theo, paramotor instructor at Fly Spain. Today we're going to go through a little tutorial on aborted launches. So, the importance behind aborted launches, guys, is it's a good method and instructional tuitional way of learning how to deal with an eventuality that you may encounter during takeoff. Essentially, we're going to go through the inflation and control period of the wing, applying power gaining airspeed to the point we're about to take off and then we're going to kill the engine and flare the wing. For example, an eventuality could be anything from something that feels abnormal with your motor, perhaps a line caught, perhaps something caught within your canopy that you don't like the look of and you wish to not take off with. It's very good practice guys, it teaches you to deal with the worst case scenario and be able to abort the launch with full confidence. So what I'm doing here is I'm laying out my wing I'm inflating, pulling all the cells back so they're all facing into wind, moving my motor over so I'm ready to clip in. This is now an opportunity for me to check my lines. I start with my brakes. This allows me to make sure that there's no twigs or any twists and that they're all clear and they're going to inflate evenly. So start with the brakes, move on to the C lines, check they're clear, then move on to your Bs. And finally, once you've checked your Bs are all clear, you can then move on to your A's. So now that your lines are clear guys, this is when we'll clip into the motor. So you kneel down in front of the motor with your legs underneath the seat board, arms through the shoulder straps and get your throttle in your hand. Stand up keeping your back nice and straight, try not to lean over. And then start clipping in starting with your leg straps first and working your way up. I like to start at the bottom and work up, that way there's no chance I could skip anything out. Okay guys, so a little helpful tip on clipping in. First things first, Make sure that your accelerator system, that's this pulley on the front, is facing up and that your A's, your A risers, the red tabs on top are unobstructed. There's no lines lapping over them. That means that the lines are clear, they're not twisted. My method of clipping in, I like to hold onto my side, twist over 180 degrees and then rotate that in towards the hang point, making sure that your brake and trimmers are what are facing forward afterwards. Again, Hold it out, twist over, and then twist in, and clip into the carabiner. So before I start my engine guys, I will shout clear prop, and this warns people that the motor is about to start up. Okay guys, so now we're going to grab our controls. So this is a good opportunity to make sure that your trims are pulled both in. You don't want one in, one out, otherwise that might make your launch a little bit asymmetric. So I start my thumbs at the top of the carabiners, run them down to the controls, this allows me to untwist and pick up my controls. The brake that goes in your throttle hand, I always put on my callus just behind the throttle like so. It's locked in, it can't slip out. Pull them both off and I reach around the back and I'm looking for the single A tab. Paramotor wings only have one single A riser and that rests in the pits between your thumb and your index finger. Follow through and do the same on the other side. So this is how they should look once you've picked up your controls. They should not look like this. You need the risers rested over your forearm and not dangling beneath. So follow through and rest them over. So I'm about to inflate my canopy. The prime objective initially is to focus on control. You do not want to apply at throttle until you're sure that the wing is inflated and stable above your head. Wing comes up, I release, apply brake pressure and then apply power. And at the end, I kill the engine and flare simultaneously. Let's look at it from a different angle. So the wing's coming up, I've stabilized it, applying brake. Now I'm applying power, looking ahead of my direction of travel. I've now experienced lift, so I apply the brakes and kill the engine, and then work on my post canopy control and bring the wing away from the propeller. Cool guys, thanks very much for watching the video. I hope this has been useful for you and uh, helps you with your flying careers. Safe flying.